you know, there's a bumper sticker that was doing the rounds in the 80s and in, in, in many parts of the US, which said on the back, there will, as long as there are math tests, there will always be prayer in schools. Amen. It's true. You can't ban a student from praying when he's looking at a question paper and an exam and he knows he's gonna flunk it. You better believe he's going to call out to God. In fact, I don't know how many of you know the name of Richard Dawkins. Do you, do you know the name of Richard Dawkins, that very noted atheist, belligerent atheist? I want to tell you something fascinating that happened, and this is a true story. It happened a few months ago. He was on a radio program on the BBC live, and uh, he was uh, dialoguing with the, one of the uh, ministers of St. Paul's Cathedral. And he was, as usual, but Dawkins just very belligerent and hostile and uh, verbose and all that he does to criticize believers. And he said, you know, Christians are basically very unintelligent people. He said, if you want to ask an average Christian even to name the Gospels, they won't know it. They don't know it. And so the vicar just kept listening and he said, Richard, you're a very erudite scientist. And Richard's just nodding, you know. He said, your favorite book is The Origin of Species, right, by Darwin? He said, right. He said, Richard, can you name the full title of the book? <laughs> this happened live. And Dawkins said, oh, yeah, yeah, I know, it's, I know it's, it's, it's a much longer title than The Origin of Species. So the vicar said, go ahead, go ahead. Name it for me. I'm quoting this to you now, please forgive me. This is the way it went, Richard Dawkins says, the origin of species, um, um, oh my God. I, uh, uh. <laughs> the ultimate proof of the sovereignty and omnipotence of God <laughs> is that it even takes an atheist who doesn't believe in him to call upon him to remind him of the title of the book that helped him deny him. And the next morning's newspaper said, and I quote, it's been a bad week for atheists. 